All right, boys and girls, it's time to check for race number one. All jockeys in race number one, please report to the scales. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Steve Cahill. I'm the clerk of scales at Indiana Grand Racing and Casino. And my name is Javier Torres. I am the clerk of scales here at Keeneland Racecourse. Jackson. Well, my daily duties start in the morning. First thing I do is go in and um, have an 8.30 meeting with the stewards. We discuss any rider changes, any scratches, anything that's gonna be um, part of our daily routine. And I'll go over the scratches that they have up to that point, and I'll check my program to the original entries to make sure the weights and medication, everything's the same. And then around 10 o'clock, I'll call them. Hey, Judge, can we go over the changes? Yeah. I'm still investigating the Okay. I'm sorry, we're gonna get No, that's okay. Okay, good. You ready? Yeah. Okay, the first race uh, is clear. Yeah. Second race, uh, equipment change for the nine, giant boo-boo, blinkers off. Yeah. Rider change for the 10, Park Ridge Benny and Sophie Doyle. Yeah. Uh, scratch the also eligible, number 13, Mustang Cat, and the 14, Chuck Mate. Yeah. So any, any scratches or changes, ownership changes, uh, equipment changes, uh, I'll get from the stewards, and then I'll relay them to all the outlets, the TV department, the bookkeeper, the announcer, uh, the press box. Then after that, then I come to the jocks room, I set the board up, get it ready, mark it for the valet so they know what their job is for the afternoon. The reason we weigh is because the jocks will carry different weight for different races, depending on the condition of the race. I mean, if you notice, sometimes they'll carry 118, sometimes they'll carry 120. It depends on the condition of the race. When they weigh out, the rules read that the minimum they can check with is saddle, riding attire, and one girth. I don't weigh them with their vest, nor with their helmets. Now, after the race, they're always gonna come back heavier than what they went in because they don't have to check with certain equipment. Uh, for example, before the race, they'll weigh out without their helmet, without their safety vest, without certain safety equipment. So after the race, they're always gonna come back um, a few pounds heavier than they, they, they went out. So we're, we're just checking to make sure that they don't come back under the weight. If, if they come back under the weight, uh, then they're, they're disqualified. Now, that's never happened while I've been the clerk of scales. I'm a stickler to making sure that, you know, everybody carries the correct weight. I mean, I, that's, the, that's my nightmare that someone would come back underweight, and, you know. You know then, then that horse that has to be disqualified, you know, the jockey, you know, then it's, it's a big, it's a big no-no. You know, we expect them to be at least two pounds heavier than what they go out. If not, then you know you kind of say, hey, wait a minute. And on hot days, they are going to lose a pound or two. It happens all the time. You know, cold, rainy, muddy days, I've had them come in on a sloppy day, be seven, eight pounds over, you know. So, I mean, it's just one of those jobs you have to use a little bit of common sense with and uh, understand what uh, you're working with here. I check every jockey's helmet, make sure it's, it's up to standard, their vest, the riding crops and we make sure that they wear their um, insurance cards on their safety vest because if something happens on the racetrack we can send them to the hospital and they've got their insurance information there's no doubt about that you know people say oh they, th they think that all, all we do is you know check the weight for the riders you know before the race and after the race and, and I mean there's a lot more that goes into it that you know people don't realize you know so I mean like I said not only the jockeys you know are my responsibility but like I said the valets too you know this is a big family in here. Everybody has each other's backs and we work well together. I take a lot of pride in what we do here, you know. It's, um, th this is a nice little racetrack. The, the people here treat you well. And uh, I expect nothing but professionalism from my guys. They get it from me. I mean, the saying goes, when you love what you do, it's not a job. So, I mean, uh, Keep them straight. It, I get paid to do something that I love, you know, and be around the horses, it's, you know, it, it makes it easy. Did you read that thing about uh, five minutes?